Today on Jurgen's Journeys, we're going to Morrow Mountain State Park, which is a beautiful state park in North Carolina, about an hour and 20 minutes from Charlotte, uh, an hour from Asheboro. It's about 40 minutes off the Interstate 74, and there's so much to do. Besides beautiful historic museums, there are numerous uh, trails to hike and bike and take your horses on. There's fishing, boating, swimming, all kinds of water activities, and there's some beautiful towns nearby with great historic sites and a lot of interesting history. So come along as we explore Mara Mountain and the surrounding area. Hello, this is Jurgen with Jurgen's Journeys. On the road this morning, Mr. Rotten Bear and I we're uh, headed for Morrow Mountain State Park. We're gonna take a few days and just uh, enjoy this uh, beautiful state park that uh, I've known about and visited from time to time uh, over many years. As a matter of fact, that was probably the first park that I ever went trailer camping to. I used to go tent camping. Uh, when I got married, well, my wife did not like a tent. She didn't. She had never gone camping, and uh, tent camping was just not her cup of tea. So I bought this trailer from our neighbor. He was an older guy, and he used to love to go to Morrow Mountain. And uh, he sold me his old trailer when he bought him a new one. Well, this old trailer was one of those silver Scotty trailers. Uh, I'll show you a picture uh, right here. Now this old Scotty uh, was small enough and light enough to pull behind my Firebird. Uh, now this Firebird had a six cylinder engine, but it pulled it okay. Uh, it did overheat one time pulling it to uh, Carolina Beach State Park, but I didn't have any problem with it going to Morrow Mountain. They didn't really push it. Well, that was our first camping trip, and over the years, uh, we've been back there several times. I'll see you there, and we'll chat a little more. to Morrow Mountain. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I'm tired. I just got through setting up and uh, since I hadn't had any breakfast I made me just a little old smoothie here and uh, that'll kind of keep me going until lunchtime when I may do a little more. I don't know. Um, but I still have to go register and uh, let me just show you a quick view of, of where I am here. So I gotta take the little tag off and take it to the office and register this spot. Well, we had a nice little nap. We had some lunch. Feeling a lot better. Mr. Rotten Bear is ready to go out, I think, and do a little exploring, even though it's a bit warm. All right, well, here's Lake Tillery. Yeah, he's a handsome boy. <laughs> he is a handsome boy. Thank you. Some kind of, uh, I don't know what that is. 
is some kind of lily. Beautiful. Come on, baby. Let's go. There he goes. Just partly cloudy skies. Oh, oh, there's a turtle. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna see any alligators. Oh, that turtle just went under. I'm gonna get a shot of him. Yeah, and lots of mud turtles around here, I'm sure. This area got hit hard by some high winds and tornadoes. Everywhere I look in the park, there are trees uprooted. Now this is something that you don't see every day. Carolina Thread Trail. <laughs> there, it's pointing up that tree. It must be some kind of a squirrel trail. What do you reckon? <laughs> this park does have a, a lot of trail. It's a beautiful area, a great for all kinds of horseback riding, especially there. This uh, park has a number of uh, horse camps where you can bring your horse and, and uh, your horses and ride trails. Well, I think we're going to take advantage of this beautiful, cool afternoon and uh, go up to look at that historic uh, home site, the Cron uh, home site. We'll, we'll check that out in a minute. See, that's what I'm talking about. There's trails all over the place. If I didn't have this poor limping rotten bear, I might take a few of uh, those little trails. I don't think he's up to it. He's kind of limping these days. I've got to use a, uh, I've got to use a little ramp in the, in the van for him. I made a ramp, I'll show it to you here in a minute. And uh, trying to help him get in and out without, without uh, jumping on his front legs so bad. Cause he, he's got a little limp going on. I'm trying to help him. stream up ahead. The home place is behind us. We'll go there in a minute. Oh no, he wants to lay down. No, come here, get out of there. Guys, get out of there. <laughs> He's trying to cool off. It is hot. Coffee. Well, this old coffee pot has made many, many cups. <laughs> it was my wife's mother's coffee pot, I believe. And uh, she used it for many years, and it's a great way to make coffee when you're out camping and stuff. Uh, well, a new day. I'm about uh, ready to go get the rotten bear out and let him take his morning walk. Uh, we didn't get quite as much done yesterday as I had hoped, but that's all right. I'm not in any rush. Uh, it got a little too warm to take him up to the uh, hair, the uh, home place up there, um, Crone, Crone's home place. 
So we'll maybe do that this morning since it's a lot cooler. I don't know how cold it got last night. It wasn't too bad, but I imagine it was in the upper 50s or around 60 maybe. So it was comfortable. And uh, so I'm going to have a little cup of coffee and then take him for a walk. And we'll go on from there. So we're on the way to see the old house of Dr. Francis Cron, who was born in Prussia in the 1800s. And he came here to the foot of Fall Mountain. There he was, uh, he practiced uh, medicine. He was the first medical doctor to settle and practice medicine here in the Southern Piedmont of North Carolina. And he traveled all over this area traveled long distances to uh, minister to people. And he was a noted horticulturist and he also was involved in education. And so we're gonna go up this hill here and see his home, his doctor's office, infirmary, and the greenhouse that were built back in the 60s. And uh, they're supposed to look a lot like it did back in, the, in 1870. So we're gonna get out and take a look. This looks like a pretty nice place. Let's see what we got here. I'm not gonna read all this to you. You can pause the video if you want to read all this. If you're a history buff. This chronicles the life of Dr. Cron, where he was born, who he married, his teaching, where he studied medicine, the house and land. He passed at 84 years old. 1883. Alright, well let's go look around a little bit. So this was his greenhouse. It was used to grow tropical plants and to get an early start on vegetables. Uh, its interior was heated by a wood burning stove and uh, by heated bricks that uh, were brought from the house. The greenhouse's large door allowed orange trees and other tropical plants grown in tubs to be moved outside during the uh, summer months. There's the old well. Lighting's not that great today, but that's because it's early. I didn't want Rotten Bear to get hot. A beautiful old home. There's that boy. Yeah, he's off leash for a change. Poor fella. He's still limping a little bit. Don't you run off, Bubby. Come here. <laughs> He's a good boy, but the nose takes charge. Look at that stonework. Wow. That's beautiful. That's some beautiful stonework. And look at the lace curtains in there. Do you remember Grandma having those? Surely quite an effort just to uh, reconstruct this building. Look at this stonework on the on the foundation pillars. Everything's in such beautiful shape. Now there's an entrance deck. A walk. Let's see if we can get a peek in this window. Look at that. That old brass bed. Can you see it? My 
bedding's not good, but there's a brass bed in there. Or maybe there's a crib. Looks like a kind of like a crib, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Come on, Bubby. Let's go this way. Beautiful. Beautiful area up here. I mean, this is, this is worth visiting whether you're a history buff or not. It's just beautiful. The boy, the boy wants to sniff around. Uh, given the fact that this is all so well manicured and taken care of, I'm fairly confident in letting him go because there's no, I don't see any poison ivy around. Huh? I'm very careful not to let him get in any poison ivy. Now this door is locked up. This way, Bobby. Come on. This way. There he comes. You're a good boy. Let's see what this building is. Oh, this must be his doctor's office. Yeah, the medicine man. Well, I've shown you a, a glimpse of what's up here. You'll have to come and see it for yourself. This is worth a little trip here to Morrow Mountain. If you love history and places like this. This way. Come this way, buddy. That's my boy. Come on. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Come here, buddy. He's a good boy. Yes, a good boy. Yes, he's a good boy. Are right, you ready to go back? Come on, let's go back. Come on. Show me the way. Let's go back. That's my boy. He knows the way home. Let's go back. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming. Yeah, after every walk. Well, I don't know about you, but I really enjoyed that. I mean, I love to see little old places like that. And this time of day, it's just beautiful. I mean, there's not another soul around here. It's quiet. I mean, I'm waiting to see some deer. They probably saw the bear, so they may not show themselves. But uh, this is a gorgeous place. This is where we came and stuck our feet in the water yesterday when it was kind of warm. But right now, it's just beautiful. It's 65 degrees, maybe. And uh, we're going to go on down the road. Towards the sun. Yeah, he had his water. He's ready to roll. Well, our trip to the Cron House was really special. I mean, I enjoyed it. And I know the bear did too. Uh, but this video is getting kind of long, so we're going to have to finish it next week. I mean, there's still so much more to see, and you don't want to miss me out there on that lake. <laughs> so, uh, oh, and we're going up to the top of the Mara Mountain. I ain't talked about that. But uh, you'll see if you'll come back next week on Tuesday uh, so till then uh, this is Jurgen for Jurgen's Journeys God bless you as you go